This is Andrew Elefante with Surf and Turf Roofing performing a digital roof analysis at 113 Tiffany Lane in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Now guys, I know you're looking at getting your roof replaced, but upon my initial inspection, this is something that we have to get on as soon as possible. Here's the exact reasons why. Now the first issue I noticed is as I came down to this diverter down here, I can see it's all tarred up. So that's telling me that it was leaking at some point in the past. Well, I have my digital moisture meter here. If I take it out and put it in the open field, you're reading 0% moisture. But when I take it right up here close to this wall, you're starting to read 35% moisture. This is telling me that water is penetrating that decking, getting in there, and going to rot that decking out, causing mold and mildew and thousands of dollars of interior damage if we don't get on this. Now, the next issue I notice, if you follow me up onto the back side of your roof, and I come down to this pipe collar here, I notice that all of these pipe collars have been tarred. Well, what this is telling me is that this has also been leaking in the past. And this is just a temporary fix to a more permanent issue. Now, what's going to happen every time it rains, the water's going to get in this alligator cracking on this tar, get down into that decking, and again, rot that decking out, and get past that insulation cost thousands of dollars of interior damage. Now, I'm glad you called us out when you did so I can show you how we can help you. But the worst problem overall is actually the amount of blown off shingles that you do have. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then this giant wind zipper down here. What's causing this is a severe lack of ventilation in this roofing system. You have a common material known as cobra venting. And what this isn't allowing is allowing that air to be pulled out of this attic space essentially baking these shingles from the inside out, causing this degranulization as well as these blown off shingles. What's gonna happen is the next windstorm, these shingles are just gonna lift off and go, be gone. So well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down, formulate a plan to get this entire roofing system secure as soon as possible.